Of all the CanMeds framework roles, health advocate is perhaps the hardest to teach and the hardest to learn. When asked in an AMA survey why they are not advocates, physicians cited lack of time as a primary reason. Physicians are busy and there's no billing code for advocacy. So how can you become an advocate? How can you, with all the time pressures of a young physician, promote active living or implement a new social program to benefit your patient population? This video aims to show that being an advocate for your patients doesn't have to be hard and you don't have to do it alone. Using three examples from the Annapolis Valley town of Kempville, Nova Scotia, I'll outline ways you can work with municipal governments as an advocate for improving the health of your patients, with a focus on ways to promote active, healthy lifestyles. Life Cycle is a large-scale celebration of health and active living started by cardiologist Howard Whiteman. Incorporating cycling, yoga, seniors' fitness, and children's activities, the event requires a lot of organizing and planning, as well as facilities and advertising. Along with many volunteers, Dr. Whiteman collaborated closely with the municipal government in Kenfield, who provided town facilities, coordinated police to keep cycle routes free of traffic, and even paved roads to ensure cyclists' safety. Staff members in the Parks and Recreation Department used their skills to help coordinate volunteers and recruit local radio stations to provide free promotion as well as using their existing social networks to advertise to a wider audience. Now entering its third year, Lifecycle has been a huge success in promoting an active lifestyle in the community, particularly among school children. The Valley Trails Coalition is a group comprised of representatives from municipal governments, the Department of Health and Wellness, and several physicians, which focuses on maintaining abandoned rail beds to serve as a free-to-access trail network in the Annapolis Valley. The group advocates for the expansion of the network to include smaller towns in the area, as these trails, combined with municipal equipment lending services, provide free access to great hiking, cycling, and snowshoeing. Year-round recreation at no cost to participants. The Valley Cardiac Rehab Center works with patients with cardiovascular disease, COPD or diabetes, to educate them not only about their illness and medications, but also providing strategies to incorporate healthy diet and exercise in their lives. The center is a huge collaborative effort between physicians, dietitians, kinesiologists, pharmacists, respiratory therapists, and psychologists. The center also works with Kentville's government by having a member of the Parks and Recreation staff come speak with patients about free exercise programs and recreation activities available in town. We know from the Stanford Three Community Study that health education in a community can improve cardiac health, and the Cardiac Rehab Center uses this principle to work with the local government and promote active living and healthy lifestyles, improving the health of their patients. These examples show ways that physicians have been able to work with local governments to advocate for public health and active living, using municipal facilities and resources to host and advertise a health promotion event, advocating with governments to increase opportunities for active living in the community, and utilizing existing municipal services to benefit the health of specific patient populations. So what can these examples teach us about working with local governments, advocate for our patients, and for public health? What steps can you take to work with your local government to be a health advocate? The successful examples from Kenfilla all have a common theme, physicians working with representatives from the government on projects aimed at health promotion and advocacy. Indeed, Kenfilla CAO Mark Phillips says that the things municipalities are best at, like providing facilities or event promotion through existing social networks, will only lead to a successful program if all parties are working together toward the goal of health promotion. Mike Trinacity, the Valley's regional representative for the Nova Scotia Department of Health and Wellness, says that almost without exception, there is going to be someone on your local government staff responsible for recreation activities in your area. Get them involved in promotion, awareness, and targeted activities. So what steps can you take to work with your local government to be a health advocate? Well, it's simple. It's only one step. Just talk to them. From utilizing existing services, starting new programs, or advertising and facilitating health promotion events, the local government has staff who are dedicated to improving the health and wellness of your patients, and together you really can make an impact on your community's health.